Stop parental alienation. Introduction. If you have never heard of parental alienation, this is some of the reasons why. Family law cases are heard in private in camera to protect the privacy of the family. Only officers of the court, the parties to the case, legal representatives, witnesses, experts, etc. will be in the courtroom while the case is being heard. Anyone present in court who talks about a case publicly can be held for contempt of court and even jailed. This gags parents abused through parental alienation and essentially censors the parental alienation issue. False allegations of domestic abuse are often used to initiate and cover up parental alienation in a relationship breaking down. <clears throat> parental alienators who make false allegations and perpetrate parental alienation do not want parental alienation recognised, as they may be prosecuted in future for parental alienation. Parental alienation can be very subtle and often the perpetrator comes across as the victim and a good parent. State Department's inability to cope with the complexity of parental alienation. Contents. Definition. Effects on child, alienating parent behaviours, identifying parental alienation, five-step model, manifestation of parent parental alienation tactics, emotional abuse, alienated young children and adults, targeted and alienating parent. Coercive control, hope, way forward, useful websites. Parental alienation is not recognised by law by TUSLA and HSE in Ireland. Yet in 2019, the World Health Organisation indexed parental alienation in their International Classification of Diseases version 11. The HSE is to implement this by 2022. Currently, the Irish Health Service Executive is using the older ICD version 10. Parental alienation is not in that version. Parental alienation ICD 11. It's used for more, as in mortality and morbidity statistics. Indexed as caregiver child relationship problem and is recognised as substantial and sustained dissatisfaction within a caregiver child relationship associated with significant disturbance in functioning. Definitions of parental alienation are a few, and there is no specific one, but it involves the unwarranted rejection of a previously loved parent by their child or young adult before and or during and or following parental separation and or divorce in which the child or young adult focuses undeserved and disproportionate anger toward the rejected parent which is fueled by the behaviour of the alienating parent. Parental alienation is otherwise known as the emotional po poisoning of a young child or adult against one of his or her parents, the targeted parent, by the other parent, the alienator. Parental alienation terms used are custodial parent, parent that child or young adult lives with, the alienated child or young adult, 
child who is being alienated against the other parent. Alienated or targeted parent, the parent who is being alienated against their child by the other ch parent. Parental alienator, the other parent who is alienating the child or young adult against the other parent. Parental alienation is the destruction of a parent-child relationship through psychological war warfare. And here are some examples. Limiting contact, not informing the parent about important information, brainwashing a child, erasing the other parent from a child's life, manipulating a child's feelings or bribing them in order to interfere with the other parent's relationship talking bad about the other parent, not allowing a child to speak freely or to express their love for the other parent, making a child choose sides who to love, forcing a child to reject or hate the other parent, making a child fearful of the other parent, making a child feel guilty for loving their parent or wanting to spend time with them. Parental alienation is older than the Bible. This is from a letter in the Irish Times. Mary Bonotti's informed article on parental alienation syndrome, the Irish Times, November 16th, brings a very damaging problem to public attention, one which has become all too familiar to the courts and those engaged in family evaluations of parental custody conflicts. The legacy of one parent alienating a child from the other parent not only blights that child and family, including the offending parent, but also the extended family, including grandparents and the generations to follow. This is from the Irish Times, 1998. This is another quote. I know that he is being poisoned against me, 1998. His child asked, Daddy, are you a bad man? And are you going to kill Mummy? 1999. The wonder was not, they concluded, that so many fathers lost contact, but given the difficulties that so many had stayed in touch. A. Burgess, 2000. Make parental alienation a socially repugnant crime. Anonymous, 2000. Parental alienation makes me feel like vermin. It's like being pushed out to sea in a boat with no food or water. For me, it's pure bereavement, except it's grieving for my two children who are still alive. It's a torturous existence. We are the erased parents and it ripples out into our family because they are erased too. I feel this is immeasurable torture. These are some of the quotes that I gathered and there are some very harrowing stories that we will not go into because of in camera. Thank you. Here are some targeted parents comments from 2019. My ex pretends to be the perfect dad and stepmom. What can I do to see my kids? Do something right, you get arrested. Do nothing, you get arrested. Well, I personally got arrested seven times for breaching a barring order, for giving money across and parents to my boys. I'm on edge of giving up on legal process and breaking the in-camera rule. I have some very disturbing video footage. A parentally alienated parent posted a photo of a bed full of tablets with a message simply saying, lads, I'm gone. We were left trying to make contact with the person all night. Thankfully, he just passed out. Christmas is supposed to be the happiest time of the year for the family, kids especially, and here you are being left out. 
If you give the kids presents, you don't know if they'll be given or binned. Cards are ripped up. Even things from school are thrown away. They're ripped up by the kids and thrown into the fire by the mother. It really sickens me how they can just get away with it. Child alienation. The children refuse to attend access arrangements. They even denigrate the targeted parent. The child's unwilling to communicate with the alienated parent. The child supports false allegations against the targeted parent. The child rejects gifts even on birthdays and Christmas from the targeted parent. The child's language becomes more adult and official. The child or young adult speaks with awareness of parents' financial and court matters. Parental estrangement. Where there is justified estrangement by a father or mother because of child abuse or neglect, this is parental estrangement and is not parental alienation. Also that parental alienation can be present before, during and after a relationship breakdown. It can be undertaken by both parents, mothers and fathers. Parental alienation victims can be mothers, fathers, sons, daughters and grandparents, even brothers and sisters. Also that parental alienation Parental alienation includes a number of narcissistic behaviours that can be categorised as naive, active, obsessive and vengeful. The naive, alienating parent uses passive, aggressive comments about the ex-partner in an effort to cause a rift in that relationship. All parents may occasionally be naive alienators. Are passive about the children's relationship with the other parent. Occasionally do or say something that can alienate the child or young adult against the targeted parent. Active alienating parent believes the child or young adult should have a good relationship with the other parent but let their own frustration affect their behaviour. They know better than to alienate the child or young adult from the other parent, targeted parent. Intense anger causes them to impulsively lose control over their behaviour. Will seek the support of the courts to allow contact with the child or young adult. May demonstrate unwillingness to cooperate with the target to the parent. May demonstrate bitterness towards the targeted parent. Over time may reflect and then demonstrate willingness to support child or the young adult to have a wi wider relationship with the targeted parent and wide fa wider family. Obsessed alienating parent have an obsessed fervent cause to ruining the children's relationship with the alienated parent. Stop or disrupt telephone calls and gifts etc. Does not fulfill contact and access arrangements. Limits contact if established. Questions the child or young adult about what did they do, where did they go, who was there. Feeds the child or young adult with consistent negative stories or lies about the targeted parent. Succeeds in brainwashing the children's belief 
about the targeted parent. Beliefs can become delusional, are never wrong in their own mind. Those who say they are wrong becomes the enemy. Will not seek except professional help suggested to them by the court. Court is powerless to stop their behaviours. Vengeful, alienating parent, believes a targeted parent has to pay for the end of their relationship. They make it their mission to destroy the targeted parent. Like obsessed alienators, the vengeful alienators have no self-control or insight into their own behaviour. Will not attend numerous court dates. Will continue to cause unnecessary delays and create barriers. Will use the court system to deliver further abuse. Do not seek see impact of their behaviours on children's well-being, <clears throat> will brainwash children, family and friends into feeling the targeted parent is the bad parent. May imply or say that the par parent targeted is at fault and is the bad parent, are totally opposed to the child, young adult, having a relationship with a targeted parent and their extended family. Child, young adult speaks with professionals in the adult language. The child, young adult speaks with awareness of court related and financial matters. We feel are protecting the child or the young adult from harm of other targeted parents. We'll say things like, do you remember that time your other parent didn't go to see your school play? Identifying parental alienation, the five-step model. Child or young adult refuses contact for no rational reason. The child or young adult had positive relationships prior to relationship breakdown or divorce. Child or young adult has not been abused or neglected. The child or young adult is conditioned by the parent, other parents alienating behaviours, whether they're naive, active, obsessed or vengeful. The child or young adult is manifesting parental alienation behaviours. Parental alienation can manifest in, this is five stages, the mindset of the parental alienator. The parental alienator explores and exploits flaws of the targeted parent. The parental alienator disguises as a good parent and reflects and portrays the targeted parent as a bad parent. Parental alienator traps the targeted parent and drives home the advantage and the dominance. The parental alienator portrayed as a glorious good parent. Stage one, the mindset. The alienating parent decides that they are a better parent and based on this a self-righteousness emerges. The alienating parent believes that they have the right to control the relationships that the child or young adult has with the other targeted parent. Flaws. By exploiting the flaws of the targeted parent, the parental alienator presents themselves being the good parent of being hard working and focused. The alienating parent portrays themselves as innocent of wrongdoings against the targeted parent. 
The parental alienator will keep spotlight there are some reminders for Paul. upon targeted parent. Alienating parent will use other people as proxy alienators to do their work for them whilst they remain undetected in the shadows. Stage 3. Good parent, bad parent. Alienating parent finds flaws in the other parent, the target one, and with the sense of right, self-righteousness, develop a strong delusional belief that they are doing the right thing. The alienating parent stalks and or studies the other parent. The alienating parent continually reconfirms their beliefs. The alienating parent finds ways of using flaws against the target parent to discredit him or her in the eyes of others, especially the child. Stage 4. The Trapped Parent Targeted parent reacts to the alienated parent's trap that has been set via the exploitation of something which has been used to prove to the outside world that they are the architect, the bad parent of their own downfall. The alienating parent increases their activity against the target to further drive home their advantage. The alienating parent suggests to a world that there is no smoke without fire especially about unfounded allegations. Stage 5. The Glorious Parent Alienating parent places themselves in a strong, outwardly positive position as a good parent. The alienating parent achieves his goal of placing other parent, the targeted one, in a strong, outwardly negative position of being the bad parent. The targeted parent tries to rectify this split in the eyes of the outside world. The alienator will make use of this to drive home the split of good and bad and confirm that the bad parent, the targeted parent, is what they say they are. Here's a poem written in 1995 by grandmother. Will someone somewhere please explain why being a grandma brings such a pain. What have I said? What have I done? I love three children and my son. A marriage fails and tears are shed. Hate conquers love for some who wed. For why, when a couple cannot agree, must children suffer just like me? A grandma's love is quite unique. A hug, a smile, no need to speak. Deny a child a love so strong is surely very, very wrong. And grandas also bear this pain, the broken bond is so much strain. Am I alone? What is your view? Put children first, their love is true. By Una Hayden in 1995. Parental alienation tactics. Denigrating the targeted parent limiting contact of the child, interrogating the child or young adult after each visit, demanding that the child or young adult chooses sides, pretending to encourage the child or young adult to visit the targeted parent whilst deeply confiding in the child or young adult about their feelings about the targeted parent, encouraging the child or young adult to have an unhealthy dependence on them, Interfering with time the child or young adult spends on visits. Interfering with phone and Skype connection. Interfering with symbolic reminders, photographs, toys, etc. Withdrawal of love. Frightening the child, telling them that the targeted parent is dangerous. Undermining the targeted parent plans with the child and arranging something better. Telling the child or young adult that the targeted parent does not love him or her. Forcing the child or young adult to reject the targeted parent. Asking the child or young adult to spy on the targeted parent. Referring to targeted parent by their first name. Naming step parent as mom or dad 
and encouraging child or young adult to do the same. Coercing the child or young adult to keep secrets from the targeted parent. Withholding information about medical, academic, recreational or social activities. Keeping targeted parents' name off the medical, academic and other relevant documents. Changing the child's or young adult's name to remove association. Cultivating dependency, undermining the targeted parent authority. Utilising school etc. to facilitate their campaign of denigration and false allegations of abuse. Erasing and replacing the targeted parent in the child's mind. Encouraging the child to betray the targeted parent's trust. Poisonous messages to a child in which a targeted parent is portrayed as unloving, unsafe and unavailable. A lack of remorse, guilt, sorrow or shame for the treatment of the targeted parent. Use of borrowed scenarios, false and distorted. The independent thinker phenomenon where the child is adamant their decisions are their own and that they are not. Spread of animosity, hostility, friction towards the parents and family of origin of the targeted parent. Confiding in a child or young adult about their adult feelings towards the targeted parent. Lack of ambivalence, mixed feelings, doubt, hesitation towards both parents in which one is viewed as all good and the other as all bad. Really locating the child as far away as possible from the parent. Sadly, parental alienation tactics do work. These tactics can sometimes be done in a very subtle and even non-verbal way and the child can then be very adamant that they alone are making the decision to have nothing further to do with the targeted parent. When in reality they have been brainwashed, coerced, encouraged, bribed and love bombed into making these decisions. People ask how can a person abuse a child? I ask how can so many good people not do anything about it? Here are some factors in parental alienation. Grand parental abuse. Inhumane and degrading treatment. Narcissistic behavior. Child abuse, emotional abuse. Coercive control using the child as a pawn, domestic abuse, the child is used as a weapon. Coercive control. Coercive control occurs when a current or ex-partner knowingly and persistently engages in behavior that is controlling or intimidating and is having a serious effect on a person. The victim may fear that violence will be used against them or they may be suffering serious alarm or distress that has a substantial impact on their day-to-day -day activities. This is a Garda website definition. Coercive control is used in parental alienation. A parental alienator may, be, may control or intimidate their ex by using access to a child, monetary control or threats of false allegations. Yet Garda do not prosecute or give warnings for parental alienation when court orders are breached. Emotional abuse with domestic abuse is a highly effective means of establishing a power imbalance within a relationship. It is often unseen or intangible to those outside the relationship. Emotional abuse is as harmful as physical violence. It does often involves threats of an actual physical or sexual abuse. 
This is a women's aid website definition. To do with parental alienation, control in the children is used as a highly effective means of establishing a power imbalance within a relationship. Parental alienation is often unseen or intangible to those outside the relationship. Emotional abuse is as harmful as physical violence. Yet Tusla and Women's Aid reject, ignore mothers and fathers who complain about their emotion, this emotional abuse on their children. Emotional abuse of child is a systematic emotional or psychological ill treatment of a child as part of the overall relationship between a caregiver and a child. This is a Tusla definition. Parental alienation is a systematic emotional or psychological ill treatment of a child as part of the overall relationship between a caregiver and a child. Yet Tusla ignore parental alienation. Emotional abuse, lack of attachment, extreme overprotectiveness, inappropriate non-physical punishment, ongoing family conflicts and family violence. Rejection, continuous lack of praise and encouragement, persistent criticism, sarcasm, blaming hostility on child. Seriously inappropriate expectations of a child relative to the child's stage of development. Parental alienation is emotional abuse. Parental alienation is a systematic emotional or psychological ill treatment of a child as part of the overall relationship between a caregiver and the child. Parental alienation can involve lack of attachment, extreme overprotectiveness, inappropriate non-physical punishment, ongoing family conflicts and family violence. Parental alienation often involves rejection, continuous lack of praise and encouragement, persistent criticism, sarcasm, blaming hostility and seriously inappropriate expectations relative to the stage of development of the child. Yet Tusla, Garda, COSC, Women's Aid, etc. do not recognise, address, prosecute for parental alienation or support the victims of parental alienation, either children or the parents. Alienated Child The severe effects of parental alienation on children are well documented and mean a higher risk of losing the capacity to give and accept love from a parent, the lack of trust, depression rooted in feelings of being unloved by one of their parents, internalising the hatred towards targeted towards the alienated parent, increased risk of substance abuse and other forms of addiction. Experiencing self, fear, guilt related to betraying targeted parent, missing the opportunity to mourn or loss the loss of the targeted parent or talk about them, having conflicted or distant relationships with the alienating parent, low self-esteem and self-hatred, and in future alienation with their own children, replicating the abuse. Experience an extensive list of severe emotional and psychological feelings, emotions and traumas. Sometimes become scapegoated children and may suffer chronic insecurity in relationships due to emotional betrayal. Expend a lot of time and energy pleasing the alienator whilst their emotional well-being can be completely forgotten. Will repress positive memories of the target parent as it hurts too much to think, feel or speak about them as it could enrage the alienated parent. Experience most or all of the eight rules of dysfunctional families. Experience ongoing conflict and volatility which does serious harm to them, become wounded children and often become the target of their own rage. 
Targeted parents effects. Broken relationship with child or young adult that can never be fully repaired, if ever. Financial and societal effects of court allegations, bad dad, mum. Negative mental, emotional health effects caused by parental alienation. Negative effects on extended fa family. Debilitating effects of not being able to rescue children from serious emotional abuse. Enduring false claims of neglect, abuse, and in some cases, character assassination. Enduring abuse, allegations being thrown at their family of origin. Experiencing abuse, trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder, and torture at the hands of the parental alienator. Allegation about things without ever being told of them and denied the opportunity to defend yourself. Denied opportunity to provide safety, security, guidance, closeness and love to their children. Traumatized because they are denied the opportunity to protect children from a range of serious consequences which children have increased exposure to such as homelessness and suicide. Can end up with criminal records as part of the trauma, torture and sense of being overwhelmed by the system. Experience overwhelming abuse while simply trying to remain being a parent. Suicidization due to powerlessness, loss of hope, and loss of fundamentally important role in their life. Targeted parent and suicide risks. The main factors that make someone more vulnerable to suicide are generally family breakdown, social inclusion, drug and alcohol misuse, unemployment, Poverty, poor social conditions, imprisonment, violence. The targeted parent and mental health. Alienated parents regularly experience several of these suicide risk factors. Unfortunately, both alienated parents and children can sometimes succumb to suicide, self-harm and go into depression or addictive behaviours as a result of the consequences of being alienated. There are no statistics collected by the Irish Institute of Suicidology or any governmental department for this extremely group of citizens. Alienating parent. Usually they go unpunished and they get away scot-free. They are considered the good parent. Has superficially loving but controlled child. Self-righteousness is confirmed. Gains satisfaction from their behaviours. Hate. Alienated parents and extended families regularly experience feelings of hatred being directed at them along with contempt humiliation, verbal, emotional, psychological and physical abuse by the alienating parent and or alienated children and young adults. Alienated parents and extended families regularly experience feelings of hatred being directed at them along with contempt, humiliation, verbal, emotional, psychological and physical abuse by the alienating parent and or alienated per children and young adults. Politics. No Irish political party has a defined policy on parental alienation. The following slides are on the erectus record concerning parental alienation. Parental alienation was mentioned by Senator Mary Jackman as far back as 1999. 
this is a the first record of parental alienation and in December 2014 Kevin O'Keelan of Jim Fain asked a question about the recognition of parental alienation. Since that, Jim Daly has answered three questions from Pierce Doherty, which have been different answers and which have been deflective about knowing that there's parental alienation and doing anything about it. Dr. Rashin O'Shea made a, st a statement at the Joint Committee on Justice and Fa Equality, a debate which mentioned parental alienation. John Walsh made a statement at the, the same meetings um, to the Oireachtas Committee on Justice and Equality defining the problems about parental alienation and that was 2019. As has been stated earlier, there are no laws and parental alienation is not recognised in Ireland. But there is hope. The World Health Organisation have included parental alienation in ICD-11. There's been three written questions on parental alienation asked in the Dáil in 2019 by Pierce Doherty TD. Legal Parental Alienation Action has been recommended in the Family Law Review Committee report in October 9, 2019. Many parental alienation events in Ireland, including a sell-out conference for professionals, have been held. Numerous interviews on the radio about parental alienation including one on TV3's Elaine programme. Numerous newspaper parental alienation articles. And there's been a council motion asking Irish government to recognise and address parental alienation. This has all been in 2019. Four recent parental alienation initiatives may progress the campaign against parental alienation in Ireland. The Irish Family Law Courts report in October 2019 by the education of TDs and Senators. Recent motions unanimously passed by Derry and Straban District Council, Donegal, Leash, Cavan Councils, Kildare and Galway Council since that recognise parental alienation. And, uh, and ask the Irish government to recognise parental alienation and address it. In 2020, there's going to be two parental alienation international conferences in Ireland. The Houses of the Oireachtas Joint Committee on Justice and Equality Report on Reform of the Family Law System, October 2019, and recommendation 36 states that consideration be given as to whether laws should be amended to take into account situations where one parent is wrongfully influencing their child or children against the other parent, thereby creating unfair and unwarranted alienation that can be destructive and life-lasting. This can be seen at HTTPS front slash front slash data dot eructus dot ie Derry City and Straban District Council were the first council across the island of Ireland to pass a motion on the recognition of parental alienation and, and the need to address it. In November and December, Donegal, Leash and Cavan County Councils passed motions uh, on addressing and recognising parental alienation. Since that, Galway, Louth and Kildare have also passed resolutions and there's more councils that are following in their footsteps. These councils and more are to follow have passed motions unanimously 
all cross-party about recognizing and addressing parental alienation. In November 2019, Martin Harley Fingale County Councillor proposed the following motion that was seconded by Gary Doherty, Sinn Féin County Councillor. In every council, councillors from all shades of opinion have supported motions to address parental alienation. In Derry City and Straban District Council, Unionist Republicans Alliance SDLP supported motion unanimously. In the South, Sinn Féin, Fianna Fáil, Fingil, Independence, etc. have all unanimously supported motions to address parental alienation. Proving this is a non-party, political, non-gender issue that needs to be addressed. The following clip is of Councillor Martin Harley being interviewed about parental alienation on Highland Radio in Donegal. Parental alienation, uh, I suppose not just in the county, in, in the whole country, and that's why we need the, the legislation updated. Um, it's been recognised, parental alienation has been recognised by the World Health Organisation, and it's where, where uh, there's breakup in, in relationships, and one parent is turning the, the children against the other parent. And it's difficult circumstances where this is happening, and... Um, it's, it's go going forward. I'd like to see the Department of Justice and the Children Equality Departments where they could recognise this. To This is not just affecting the, the children, it's affecting the parents, it's affecting grandparents and siblings, other siblings within the, the family circle. And it's, um, it's a very tough situation. And the sad reality is that these children who are affected by this as well, when they get older and going through relationships themselves, the chances are that this will have a lasting effect on them and when they're trying to bring up their own family. So uh, I feel it needs to be recognised going forward and uh, very appreciative of the council um, taking my motion today and all the councillors um, backing us on this motion and that we could try and move it forward. I know a few other councillors are bringing it forward now as well, so I think that's important. Because as you said, from from what you're saying, it's not really been talked about enough. But from your point of view, bringing it here to Lifford today and beginning that conversation, you're hoping for progress on it. Yeah, it's, it's only when you go to a meeting where you have um, 40 to 50 uh, people in a room of men and women. Not just it's not just um, it's not just for fathers. It's women as well who've been affected by it by the mothers. That you hear their stories and uh, when you leave the room you're just um, totally uh, shocked uh, that it is going on under your eyes and it's, it's just, we need to be recognised it. Alienated parents are to write and lobby TDs and senators to support a parental alienation campaign in the general election. This is a declaration that they are asking uh, the election candidates to, to sign. And it's the parental alienation, all domestic and child abuse is wrong. I recognise that parental alienation is a part of these abuses and agree that they must be recognised and addressed by the Irish government and its services as soon as possible to protect our, protect our children from further abuse. I, the name of the TD, or Senator agreed to the above statement and will in future give my support to the alienated children and parents in the constituency of dated whatever all TDs and Senators who support this, this campaign will be publicly acknowledged on our web page. Two parental alienation international conferences for professionals are to be held in April 2020 
one run by uh, run jointly by Parental Alienation Europe and the Dolce Vita project in Derry. They're calling them United as One Professional CPD Conference and they're being held in Dublin on the 21st of April and in Derry on the 23rd of April. Action. So what is the way forward in the short term that parental alienated uh, uh, victims have, have said and professionals? To educate TUSLA, psychologists, HSC and politicians in parental alienation. To educate the front line staff, the judges, etc. to be trained in parental alienation diagnosis. The judges rigorously enforce access court orders. That there's the specialist parental alienation intervention services are set up. The FLAC develop legal advocacy training for parents who are affected by parental alienation. The part four section 60 of the Children Relations Act is implemented automatically for court orders when they're breached. That existing legislation is used to prosecute false allegations. The way forward midterm that the three government departments of justice, children and health set up a cross party, cross departmental working initiative to reduce parental alienation in Ireland. Parental alienation is recognised by the Irish government and legislated for as coercive control and emotional and psychological child or young adult abuse. The HSE, TUSLA and CAMS develop parental alienation intervention pathways. The legislation develop and agree parental alienation guidelines regarding interventions and punishments to deter alienating parents. The parental alienation awareness is brought on par with domestic violence and, and other forms of coercive control. The family law court procedures implemented in Dolphin House, Dublin, having an emphasis on non-adversarial lay litigant approach is extended urgently to the rest of the country. Make it mandatory that all professionals working with children and adolescents receive effective up-to-date training on the importance of treating, treating coercive control and parental alienation in a gender-neutral way. The way forward long-term. The post-breakup parenting education is made mandatory and incorporates parental alienation awareness training so that the parents don't use it. Family courts transition to mandatory family mediation methodology. The extreme parental alienation is punishable by imprisonment. The 50-50 shared parenting to become the parent default for parenting and guardianship after a relationship breakup. That all policies, procedures and legislation eliminate any perceived or actual gender discrimination in the topics of abuse, domestic violence, coercive control and parental alienation. That all domestic violence, including parental alienation, education and training must be treated as a priority with any professionals working with children and families. The professionals working with families and children must be subject to regular, mandatory and ongoing reviews. I hope everyone has signed this petition. It can be found uh, just by googling make parental alienation a crime in Ireland. It is on the up, uplift site. So what can you do if you're interested in progressing the campaign against parental alienation? You can sign the petition on Uplift. 
You can contact your TD, MP, MEP or councillor to act and declare support for parental alienation campaign. You can write to your local newspaper, part, political party, community organisation, any man, women's aid, etc. about parental alienation. You can support any organisation that is campaigning against parental alienation. Why not ask your councillor to table a motion, motion on parental alienation? This is a poem written by a reunited daughter, then 28 years. This was in two, year 2000. Dad, at times I am a girl again, unsure and unaware that you were always with me, that always you did care. When I think of all the things we missed, while well, those times we were apart, I feel a touch of emptiness deep down within the heart. But now those times have come to pass, and no longer am I sad. For now I know the truth of it, and at last I have my dad.